Fox 35 News starts now with breaking news. There is a nationwide search for this former NFL player seen in this disturbing video that's difficult to watch. Things are way different now. Oh. I'm Dave Figlisi in Orange County, where police are looking for former NFL running back Zach Stacy, who's accused of beating his ex-girlfriend before taking off. I'm also afraid that he's going to get away with this. Fox 35 is the only local news station to talk with the victim as police search the nation for Zach Stacy days after the alleged attack. I feel lost in the system. We're asking police what took so long to attempt an arrest. Zach Stacy, the former New York Jets running back, is on the run, wanted in Orange County. Police say he attacked his ex-girlfriend, as you see right behind us, who was also the mother of his infant son. That attack happening right in front of the baby. This happened in the town of Oakland, west of Orlando, and police tell us they believe Stacy left the state right after this incident. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi joins us live right now. And Dave, you spoke to Stacy's ex-girlfriend in an exclusive interview, and she's still very shaken up up by all of this. Luann, she's nervous and she's scared, and rightfully so. When we talked to her, she was packing up her things in order to get to a safe place. She tells me that she's scared that Stacy might be coming back. This was just the last straw, I would say. Um, I, I really, truly feel that if it continues, he will kill me. This violent encounter caught on Kristen Evans' home surveillance. She says the attack is coming at the hands of her ex-boyfriend and former NFLer Zach Stacy. You think that was okay? Now I do not. Please, please, please. Well, every time a car has passed by, uh, I am resisting the urge to look uh, to see who it is. I, I started crying when you walked up because um, I'm sc scared. You know? Evan spoke with Fox 35 as she hurried to a safe location out of fear Stacy might return. She says Stacy was supposed to turn himself in after police issued a warrant for his arrest, but he has not. We believed he was in Nashville. Um, we're not sure if he's going to be returning to the Orlando area today. There was some word of that. Evans began a relationship with Stacy in August of 2019, which was on and off. In recent months, she says he's gotten more and more physical with her. This was just the last straw, I would say. Um, I, I really, truly feel that if it continues, he will kill me. Um, he he just feels justified in his actions. So there's nothing there's nothing that anyone could do to justify uh, something like that. Evan says that she's filed police reports against Stacy in the past. She said that she went public with this one in order to make sure that it wouldn't be overlooked again. In Oakland, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News. And Dave, Kristen Evans has been posting to Twitter all day. She claims she has filed police reports before and the state attorney has not picked them up. This particular incident all went down this past Saturday, but Oakland police did not issue a warrant for Stacy's arrest until Tuesday. Fox 35's Danielle Lama continues our live team coverage. And Danielle, you're out there to ask that department why it took them three days. That's right, Luann. We're at the Oakland Police Department right now asking those questions. As you mentioned, Evans has been very vocal on social media, saying she feels like it took too long for police to issue an arrest warrant. Let's take a look at the timeline of events. Officers were called to the home Saturday afternoon at around 2.30 after Evans called 911. She told investigators what happened and handed over the surveillance video. On Monday, Evans got an order of protection against Stacy. Investigators followed up with her on Tuesday about the beating and a warrant for Stacy 
Casey's arrest was signed by a judge on Wednesday. Now, we reached out to the Oakland Police Department to get more information about how exactly this investigation unfolded. They sent us a statement saying in part that after he initially fled the scene, officers continued to search for Stacy, and the case was forwarded to the investigations unit of the Oakland Police Department to establish probable cause to secure a warrant for Stacy's arrest. As the suspect was believed to be outside of Oakland PD jurisdiction, the Orange County Sheriff's Office attempted to apprehend Stacy, but learned he had fled the state. And at this point, law enforcement says he is still on the run. Again, we are here at Oakland Police. We've asked for an interview to talk more about how all of this unfolded and have not heard back on those inquiries. For now, I'm live in Oakland, Danielle Lama, Fox 35 News. Danielle, thank you. And we will continue to follow this story as soon as we get an update on Stacy's whereabouts or an arrest. We'll let you know. Also developing tonight in Orange County.